Thank you very much, Shox. I am joined by Reckless here. So let's talk a little bit about Rift Rivals. You just won a series over Vitality, but I think the thing that's most on people's mind, Kennen, pretty consistently in Rift Rivals. Now you're pulling out the new 80 carries in this series. What, what kind of prompted this change for you? Well, uh, Kennen got nerfed in 7.13, and Rift Rivals was the first official games we had on 7.13, so I was kind of just maybe stuck in like the old patch. I'm not sure. Like We had really good scrim results, so I just thought, Maybe it's still fine, you know, like maybe the changes didn't didn't affect it too much, but then at Rift Rivals you could clearly see that it wasn't like working out. So in the past week we have just been trying to like not necessarily change everything up, but try a lot of new stuff so that we're more versatile in the future when these kind of tournaments come around. Because if um, if we're playing so many games back to back and we're not able to adapt, we will definitely like get punished against good teams. We did see adaptation coming out today, so I'm curious, looking back at Rift Rivals, was it just the drafts and kind of being stuck in that single play style that was the biggest issue at Rift Rivals, or were there other issues for Fnatic as well? Um, I think definitely the, the draft was like a big problem, but I wouldn't say the biggest. I think NA's early game was like so much better than we've pretty much ever seen before. Like in EU at least, there's nothing that comes close to it. So especially with the style we were playing or the style we are playing, um, like we just have a really tough time dealing with these kind of early games. Like we just fall too far behind and I never really get going on my split push AD carry thingy. And that's why we made some of the changes going into this week because we just felt like if someone were to pull out this early game again and I don't get going, we don't really have any cards to fall back on. Meanwhile, now we maybe have more of a, like, as I said before, like a versatile play style. So we're able to maybe fall back on like SOAS or Caps if something goes wrong on bot. And I have better scaling as well on something like Varus and Sivir, so for sure like we learned a lot from Rift Rivals, but it kind of sucked that it happened in such a fashion and that we kind of like lost all of our hype maybe with it. But like we'll, we'll definitely keep working the way we did before and we'll, we'll try to win Europe same as we did before, yeah. <laughs> definitely on the path to building some of that hype back up with uh, some pretty solid wins over Vitality today. Now, looking forward for Fnatic, uh, improving some of those individual things, improving that flexibility looks good for you guys, but what are the immediate goals outside of kind of learning to deal with that uh, er aggressive early game that you saw from those North American teams? Uh, well, as I said, I think the, the biggest thing we're working on right now is that we're not so reliant on me doing my thing that I did before. And we're much more like able to to adapt in the game as well because some games like we're at Red Rivals they were just having so much jungle pressure on both and I wasn't able to like uh, pressure the lane at all or do my cannon things in the lane so yeah we just had, had nothing to fall back on and now we've been trying to like be more like broad as a team and able to play around pretty much every lane every player and like maybe in spring split it didn't work out but now I think it will because everyone has improved so much and we're so much better now as a team so uh, like for, for sure it's gonna be much better now and as you could see here like there are some good signs, especially in game one. Yeah. Definitely saw some fantastic plays across the team. Early aggression from North America seems to be a consistent thing that kind of trumped Europe out across Rift Rivals. How do you practice and prepare for that when it's the European teams that, that weren't able to match that aggression? Where do you find that practice here in EU? Is that something that teams are now looking to improve or is that something that you have to find a way to kind of emulate? Um, I think it's hard to practice, but most of it is theoretical anyways. Like we just have to talk about jungle paths and how much pressure each lane has and what they can do with it. Because at Rift Rivals, we kind of got caught off guard. Like if you if you saw the first C9 game, like their support was just roaming mid at level two or something, killing caps behind his tower. And like, that's something we've never seen before. Like usually if the enemy team gets pressure bot or something, they just try to snowball it, in, it into, into a CS lead or tower damage. But in this case, they just didn't care at all about the laning phase and just started going towards mid. and. Yeah, like there, there were a lot of new things to learn. And as I said, we were, we were just not adapting over the days. Like we were playing three days back to back and we, were, we weren't able to adapt at all between the days. So it's kind of a shame and uh, maybe even a good learning experience because Worlds is going to be a similar, similar like uh, schedule. So if, if we're able to learn that we need to adapt, maybe even like in the middle of the tournament, then that will be a like, good step towards Worlds if we make it. Showing some of that week-to-week -week adaptation here, maybe day-to-day -day adaptation in the future uh, when the world stage is present. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. That's going to do it for us here. We're going to thank thank send you. things back to Shox in the post-game lobby. Thanks for